Patrick. Thank you very much for joining us. You know, we're talking right now about a macro market that may have gotten ahead of itself. Did some of the names that you cover get ahead of themselves in terms of the euphoria and optimism about around the rapidity of a rebound and a reopen? Oh, oh absolutely. Um, my space is right at the epicenter uh, of that, especially with the cruise lines. Um, like you said, you know, some of these stocks have doubled, if not more, um, which is... Uh, uh, quite surprising, uh, you know, given that, especially with cruise lines, um, the 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 sailings are continue to keep uh, being delayed later and later into the year. You know, originally the cruise lines thought June they're going to sail. Now it's August. Now it keeps getting pushed back. And during this whole time, these cruise lines are just hemorrhaging cash. Um, so that's you know certainly not a positive, uh, at least for the near term for them. Yeah, what, what happens if they keep pushing it back, Patrick? Um, well, they, one, keep burning cash, and they may need to go back to the public markets uh, to raise cash. The good news is uh, the, the public markets have been very accommodating and receptive uh, for these companies to uh, raise cash, though it's been at you know dilute, either dilutive equity or 12% interest rates, uh, but the market has been uh, very receptive. That, that's the good news. Bad news is the loot of equity and 12% plus interest rates, and you're burning you know, a significant amount of cash every month that you're not sailing, very high fixed cost industry. And we're seeing a lot of activity in names like Carnival Number 1. It's kind of interesting, Patrick. A lot of buyers on, say, the Robin Hood side, right, the smaller retail buyers that are kind of rolling the dice, but you've also the Saudi Investment Fund take a big stake in Carnival and other big players. So it's interesting, you got small players and super huge players who are yeah. coming into these types of stocks. Does Car If they had to pause cruises for a few more months, will they survive, Patrick? Uh, will the cruise companies themselves survive? Yeah, I think they will survive. But again, you're gonna be burning millions and millions of dollars of cash every month that you're not sailing. And you'll have to take on more, um, more expensive more expensive debt, you know, somewhere in the order of probably 12% uh, range, mm -hmm. which uh, certainly if you're going to value a company on EPS, which we we do uh, for the cruise names, uh, that is certainly detrimental to uh, to earnings. Just quickly, Patrick, uh, but we got to we like to end always on a positive note. Any stocks in your universe that are a good buy right now? Um, I'm going to give you uh, two names here. When we look across the greater travel universe, uh, the demand that we, the green shoots that we see are definitely the drive to domestic leisure. And there is no sector or subsector within travel and leisure better exposed to that than surprisingly timeshare resorts. Uh, most of the resorts are, are drive to, they're domestic, and uh, they're opening back up. Uh, the two names uh, within timeshare that are my favorite are going to be uh, number one, Marriott Vacations and uh, Wyndham Destinations, Marriott Vacations, BAC, Wyndham Destinations, W-Y-N-D. So well exposed or best okay. exposed to the few green shoots that we see. 